New in Firefox 146 is the CSS scope at rule, and that means it's now in all major engines. So if you've been ignoring this feature so far, it's time to take a closer look as this is soon to be a tool you can use in production to solve some common CSS problems. Like, you'll have run into this before. You create a component and you style links within that component. But there's also a toolbar. And if that toolbar is used within the component and it also has links, it needs to fight those styles from the parent. And that feels wrong because it's an independent component. The usual solution is to limit the scope of the link styles. So now we're only targeting direct children links of the component. But that doesn't always work out depending on the DOM structure. So what we tend to do is give every link we want to target a specific CSS class. And to deal with any naming conflicts, we use naming conventions or something like CSS modules. But this isn't always practical. And it takes a markdown like this. The output elements are not all under the same parents, like we've got a link in a block quote there. But if this is MDX and there's a component, we are back to the same problem. So how do we style these general markdown things so they don't mess with stuff inside these child components? Like we could get our hands dirty and modify the markdown renderer to add specific classes to everything, but CSS scopes give us a better solution. We can say this block of styles only applies within pros, but it stops at not pros or whatever. So as long as I wrap my child components in something with this not pros class, the styles won't leak in. I think this is one of those features that will be adopted initially slowly because folks have workarounds for it already. But I know when I was at Shopify, we had a huge problem with parent components styling child components owned by different teams. And that caused a lot of fragility within the code base. So next time you try and work around this problem, keep at scope in mind. See if it's within your target browsers. And if it is, give it a go.